So let's take a look then at the, the third and the, the final way that you can get credited with an RBI. So for, for this situation, there must be less than two outs. And there, it, it, it's an, an error is made on the play. On the play. But, the, and, and so obviously a run is going to score in order for there to be an RBI. But it has to be a run... A, a, a runner that would have ordinarily scored from third base. So a runner, runner, you know, scores a run that that ordinarily would have scored from third base. It's kind of a, a, a long definition there, but. Uh, so, so remember on this play up, up top here, we're saying that there are, are no errors on this play. But this one, this one gives us, you know, the, the, the leniency kind of to say, you know, sometimes a, a batter still does deserve credit for the RBI, even if, if uh, an error is made on the play. So we could say that this, this could happen if, if, let's get our fielders up here. So say we have a ground ball hit then to to the shortstop, and so usually, you know, and and this would probably be on a play where we don't actually have these guys here, this runner, this runner here. So let's just say we have the runner on third base, and so we we the the, the ground ball is hit to the shortstop. You know this this batter. It's going to be running to first, and and this runner will will run home. The shortstop, he's so he, you know he has the option to, to to throw the ball home and try to get this guy, but but let's say he's just he's content to get the out, so he throws it over to first. He gets this batter out. So in that situation, you know, that's that's an ordinary situation where where th this would be you know the the first way here. This would be there's no errors on the play. You know, and, and it's an, an infield out where a, a, a run scored because the ball was put in place by the batter, so we give the batter credit. So let's say, rather than, than, than that happening, rather than the shortstop picking the ball up, you know, he, he runs up maybe to, to, to charge the ball. Oops. And, and and for whatever reason, you know, he drops it and the ball gets away. So, it, and, and it's an error. It's ruled an error. And so this this batter, he's going to run. He's going to be safe. And, and this guy, he's going to, to be safe and he's going to score the run. So, you know, if we just had this first first you know piece possibility of a way to get an RBI it, it would this run would not count as an RBI for the batter because there would have been an error on the play even though you know it's pretty obvious here that the run would have scored you know if it, if it wasn't for the error it was because of the batter basically putting the ball into play that the run scored and that's exactly why we're giving the the batters credits for RBIs in the first place so in this situation, it, 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 this, this third, third piece here makes complete sense to, to award the batter with the RBI. That, that situation probably won't happen as much as these two, but these are the three ways that you can get a run batted in. As with most things in baseball, there are a few exceptions to, to these rules, and so we'll take a look at those in the next video.